Bonjour. I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to address your membership today. The Canadian Shooting Sports Association is a long-standing partner of our government. We are very thankful for the work done by each and every one of you to protect the important Canadian heritage activity of sport shooting. I would like to specifically thank your executive director, Tony, Tony Bernardo, for his tireless work. I would also like to thank our guest of honor this evening, the Honorable Member of Parliament from Yorktown, Melville, Gary Bradcruz. Gary, you are a great friend, but more importantly, you've been a tireless advocate for law-abiding firearms owner. Gary was one of the first voices to stand in a position to the Liberal Long Gun Registry, and he has introduced about half a dozen private members' bills to bring some common sense to our firearms laws. I can safely say that we would not be where we are today without Gary. And we should be very proud of our progress to develop safe and sensible firearms policies for which Gary has given me a lot of help and guidance. For too long, gun control policies developed by previous liberal governments targeted law-abiding gun owners rather than dangerous criminals. I am proud to be part of a government that has turned that around. We are taking action to streamline paperwork for those who obey the law and make sure that those who use firearms violently pay the price. As part of this, I introduced the Common Sense Firearm Licensing Act in October 2014 to cut red tape for law-abiding hunters, gun collectors, farmers, and sports shooters while protecting the safety of Canadians. Through this important bill, we are creating six-month grace period to stop people from immediately becoming criminalized for paperwork delays around license renewals. We will give over 600,000 holders of PAL possession-only licenses the right to purchase firearms. We are making classroom participation in firearm safety courses mandatory for first-time license applicants. We are amending the criminal code to prohibit the possession of firearms where a person is convicted of an offense involving domestic violence. And we are ending needless paperwork around authorizations to transport by making them a condition of a license for certain routine and lawful activities. We are putting a stop to the arbitrary abuses of power exercised by provincial chief firearms officers. We are improving information sharing between CBSA and the RCMP as it relates to businesses importing restricted and prohibited firearms into Canada. And we are restoring the CZ858 and Swiss Arms family of rifles to their previous category of non-restricted. In short, we are delivering the results we all want and that Canadians deserve. Friend, it's clear that Conservative Party can be trusted to stand up for the rights of the firearms community. Tom Mulcair, the leader of the NDP, recently said that he was in favor of creating a gun registry that would allow police to track every firearm in the country. And the Liberals are even worse. Mr. Trudeau has traveled across Canada spreading misinformation about the Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act, trying to stoke fears that law-abiding gun owners are going to all of a sudden to go around committing crimes because of one less piece of paperwork. What's worse, one of his star MPs from downtown Toronto compared law-abiding hunters to jihadi terrorists. This is unbelievable. Though it should not be surprising, given this is the same Liberal Party that said that they believe only police and the military should have access to firearms. Friends, under a Conservative government, we can rest assured that our rights will be protected. I hope that you all enjoy your dinner tonight, and I look forward to working closely with you to protect the rights of Canadian gun owners. Thank you for your support. Have a great evening, Gary. You deserve the tribute that is paid to you tonight, and thank you very much for all your great work. Merci.